Even at this time of year, there's still things to harvest in the garden, like kale, cabbages, leeks and chars. Now's the time of year for pruning soft fruit, raspberries, gooseberries and black currants. So, with pruning black currants, you would be taking out about a quarter to a third of the oldest stems. Also, any stems that have ended up lying down or leaning over. With the weight of fruit next year, they're going to end up lying on the ground. Potted plants like these under a canopy need really careful watering through the winter. Always water them early in the morning. That way the foliage has got time to dry off before the cold weather comes the following evening. What a great time of year to delve through cookery books looking for exciting new recipes. I usually mash my celeriac, but I think I'm going to try roasting it. And another recipe I love during the winter is wrapping Savoy cabbage leaves around meat. On these wet, miserable December days, why not get together everything that you harvested last month and start making Christmas decorations using natural materials, glitter and glue. I think these older cones are going to make a great bauble for the tree. We're really busy at the moment delving through our seed catalogues, putting in our orders. This is the time of year when we order most of our seed for the whole of next year. There are masses of seeds available to us, but the great thing is that we can and you can order them online. One of the easiest sorts of propagation you can do is taking hardwood cuttings now in the winter. As soon as the plants have dropped their leaves, you can take off stems like this one on the corners. Well, winter is also the time to take root cuttings. So if you're lifting plants outside or dividing things, why not give it a go? Well, on a cold winter's day like today, there's nothing better than getting outside in the garden and warming up by digging over the soil. Dig it over now, the frost can get in through the winter and break it up ready for the spring. Well, hopefully through the autumn you've filled up your compost bin and it's now brimming full. A couple of things to remember through the winter though. The beasties that are going to turn what you've put in there into great compost need plenty of air. So you can use an aerator tool like this, or you can even buy a compost bin that does it itself. Other thing to remember is this doesn't want to get too wet through the winter. If it's exposed, cover it with carpet or newspapers. Otherwise, use one like we have with the lid.